Yeah, the NFL came up with the Rooney Rule less than 20 years ago. In part, it says clubs have to interview at least two external minority candidates for head coaching openings and at least one for general manager jobs. Despite the rule, you're about to find out. The league has a long way to go. This is bigger than coaching. This is bigger than me. The numbers don't lie. We need things to change. Former Dolphins head coach Brian Flores is suing the NFL and its teams for racial discrimination. In the lawsuit, Flores says he received a text message from his former boss, Patriots head coach Bill Belichick, congratulating him on getting the Giants head coaching job. The problem? Flores hadn't interviewed for it yet. He says the interview was a sham, leaving him to feel all kinds of emotions. It was humiliating. To be quite honest, uh, there was disbelief, there was anger. I thought about guys on my staff, or my previous staff in Miami, who I know are more than capable. I just want them to have the opportunity to stand in front of a, an owner and, and, and have a real opportunity. Some might say rules are made to be broken. I can assure you the Rooney rule wasn't, yet it feels broken. At this moment, there's only one black head coach in the NFL, Mike Tomlin with the Steelers. It is a global collective failure from, from my perspective. When the 2021 season started, there were three black head coaches. Coincidentally, the year the NFL came up with the Rooney Rule in 2003, there were also only three African-American head coaches. Hall of Famer Tony Dungy was the first black head coach to win a Super Bowl. Getting hired as a head coach might have been harder. I was an assistant with the Minnesota Vikings. We had the number one defense in the NFL and there were seven job openings that year. And I'm thinking, well, this has got to be the year. They've been talking about me for four or five years. One of these seven is going to come through. I didn't get one interview. Nine head coaching vacancies have opened since the end of the 2021 season. Four have been filled, none by black coaches. Again, just grateful and humbled for this opportunity. A year ago, during last offseason, there were seven head coaching openings. One was filled by a black coach. The Texans hired David Culley, but fired him after a single season. It's been said Chiefs offensive coordinator Eric Bieniemy interviewed for several of the vacancies. He never received a single offer. You don't ever want to be recognized for what you do by your race or your color. You want to be recognized in this profession by how great of a coach you are or how much of a leader of men that you are. So far, two black GMs have been hired this offseason for a total of seven in the league. When you take a look at the number of black presidents in the NFL, well, you'll only find one. How about owners? You'll see none. I think you'll agree with me when I say representation is important. Emily Gagnon, CBS 46 Sports.